My name is Alex Campbell. I do PR marketing for Zap in Santa Rosa, California. We are a world leader in electric and other forms of advanced transportation technology. Uh, today we're in the Zap showroom in uh, Santa Rosa, California. This is where we bring our dealers to educate them on uh, advanced technology and automobiles and uh, talk to them about uh, the opportunity to become a Zap dealer, bring them electric cars to their own community. Uh, we, we have uh, uh, prototypes here, we also have production models, and we even have cars here that we love that maybe one day we'd like to build ourselves. Right now you're looking at a couple of smart cars. Um, this is a car that's made in Europe that uh, we just uh, fell in love with. We th wanted to bring them to the United States. Um, and we were able to sell several hundred of the vehicles. Um, they're really high, gas, high uh, fuel economy gas cars um, that really kind of fit in our philosophy of trying to make cars more efficient. Um, also, um, what we're really excited about, though, is the, the new Zebra, which is a truck and a sedan that we've designed uh, as a city car um, to tap into the market that we feel is really growing for people who are looking for modes of transportation that don't use gas. Um, this works just like a car, and you can drive it all over town and uh, you, you never need to go to the gas station. All you need to do is just plug it in um, at any normal household outlet. One of the interesting things about the Zebra is that uh, you know, the, the auto industry is all buzzing about how the future of manufacturing is in China. Well, um, and which car company is going to be the first company to make uh, cars in China? Well, Zap has done it. We, uh, this the Zebra is the first car made by a Chinese automaker uh, designed for the U.S. market. And the best thing about it, it's electric. So I, I, I think literally we're at a point in history where there is a, a dramatic shift taking place, um, not, just, uh, not just in technology, but in the autom automotive industry as a whole. The, um, I think that the movement is on towards cleaner technologies and renewable res energies to power a larger segment of our transportation. The car over here that we have, um, it's a Zap car that we're working on with a, a company in Brazil called Avio. Um, we're hoping to make a, a micro sports car um, that can be a tribrid design. Uh, what we're talking about is, a, is an engine that's designed to use gasoline, ethanol, and for this version, possibly a hybrid, possibly a natural gas supplement system. They're even talking about doing an electric version um, later on. Um, this is just the design for the vehicle. We're still we're in the engineering phases on the drivetrain. But the exciting part of this is that um, it's, uh, you know, this is going to be a car that's, that's probably going to be the smallest car in the U.S. market. Um, you're talking about a high-performance, fuel-efficient vehicle in the range of something at 45 to 55 miles per gallon. Um, but, it, you know, it's also very economical, and the ability to use ethanol makes it very attractive for, um, you know, the a lot of the government programs that are working on in the United States, but the idea is, is important from Brazil where uh, the gasoline markets are very volatile and uh, um, a car like this, uh, you know, if, if uh, gas prices go up, you still have the ability to use ethanol or any mixture thereof. Um, it's, it's pretty common in Brazil. Uh, they extract a lot of their ethanol from sugarcane production as a way to help their transportation. So it's not a new idea, but it's an idea that Zap is hoping to bring to America. One of the cool features of the Avio 828 that we looked at is, is that we're going to be incorporating a continuously variable transmission into the system. This is, a, this is a transmission system that works like an automatic, so there'll be no shifting involved. But what it does is it senses the torque needs of the vehicle, and it'll change speeds on, on the fly um, in, in a new type of technology that actually increases the efficiency. And um, I've seen reports that state it'll increase the uh, fuel economy of a, a car by about 10 to 15 percent.
Inside the Avio, um, you can see that it's designed as a three-passenger bench seating. Um, uh, they call them Havana sandal uh, flip-flops for the pedals. Uh, a lot of interesting design features. One of the most exciting parts is that it ha it'll have an onboard computer that's, that's Windows-based, um, uses satellite navigation, can play your MP3 players, everything. Um, it's from a company called iMobile, which is going to uh, is supplying this as a standard item in all the Avio cars. One of the ideas that we looked at when we were designing the Zebra over here with three wheels is we were looking at the success of the Corbin Sparrow. This is a company about 10 years ago that um, wanted to sell a three wheel electric sports car. This is a one passenger vehicle that could go freeway speeds. Um, with the three wheels, it's basically a motorcycle. Um, you know, and, uh, they weren't able to uh, really make a successful business out of it, but the, uh, the people who bought them really loved the product, and I think we felt like they were onto something big. Um, with a vehicle like this, um, three wheels, you, you, can, uh, you can make a, an electric vehicle that can satisfy most people's needs, but what we wanted to do is make it so that more people could use it. So um, ra rather than just make it a one passenger vehicle, we designed it, we designed the Zebra so that we could have for our truck two passengers or for our, our sedan four passengers. And we didn't, we decided that we didn't want to make a vehicle that um, could act like a normal gas car. But I think that's part of the, um, the tendency of car, of electric car developers is that it, is to try to make um, an electric car that works like a gas car, when in reality they're really two different uh, types of technologies. Um, so that's so our focus with the Zebra was to make it very simple, very affordable, in, and use the three oil design, which worked so well in the, the Corbin Sparrow. One of the um, projects that we worked on in the past, um, you know, everybody's talking about hydrogen, and um, we we think it's important to keep uh, to look at a lot of these different technologies because right now the there's so much changes going on in transportation that um, whether it's gas, hydrogen, natural gas, electric, um, ethanol, biodiesel, um, there's a lot of different um, ideas and technologies that are starting to become available and you know Zap wants to be a, a strong player so we're looking at a lot of these things. One of the things we did is we took an electric car um, this is a electric car that was made in China, and we incorporated a, a proton exchange membrane fuel cell uh, supplement. So, essentially, this is a, a fuel cell hybrid car. Uh, it runs on electric power, and then it's supplemented by a hydrogen fuel cell. So, um, just on hydrogen alone, you can probably drive about 150 miles a day. And a car like this um, is pretty cool technology. I mean. Uh, we're talking a car that can go freeway speeds um, and, and get most of its energy from hy hydrogen. Um, and we did it for about uh, for, for about a hundred thousand dollars, which to to us kind of proved that um, you know that hydrogen is a viable option, and it, it it probably doesn't need very much study, and there there probably could be a ready market for it. But uh, the problem with the hydrogen that we saw is where do you get the hydrogen? Um, that's why. Initially, we're focusing on electrics because um, you can plug an electric car into any outlet in your house, at work, even at the store. One of the cool features of the Avio 828 that we looked at is, is that we're going to be incorporating a continuously variable transmission into the system. This is, a, this is a transmission system that works like an automatic, so there will be no shifting involved. But what it does is it senses the torque needs of the vehicle and it'll change speeds on, on the fly um, in, in a new type of technology that actually increases the efficiency. In, um